ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on CNBC. Dollar sinks to three month low versus yen on US rate outlook growth fears. This came out December 20th, 2018. The dollar fell to a more than three month low against the yen on Thursday after the Federal Reserve signaled fewer interest rate hikes over the next two years and expressed caution about the U.S. economic outlook. The dollar index, a measure of the greenback, a greenback is just a nickname for the U.S. dollar. The greenback's value against six major currencies dropped to a one-month low diminishes U.S. rate hikes, expectations lessen the appeal of dollar-dominated assets. Aside from lowering interest rate forecasts, the Fed also reduced growth and inflation expectations next year. You know, a lot of people, and I read this in a few articles yesterday, a lot of people are concerned that the U.S. is going to go into another recession real soon. Okay, the Swedish crown, meanwhile, was one of the biggest gainers on Thursday, up 0.6% against the dollar after its central bank raised interest rates for the first time in more than seven years. The United States, the two-year, 10-year Note yield curve widely considered an indicator of future recessions flattened to nine basis points. An inversion of this curve is widely considered a hoppinger of recession. So there's a lot of rumblings about that now. People are really in fear of a recession. We think market sentiments will not improve amid more cautious Fed, said Mazin, ASA, um, ISA. All right, so unsolved trade disputes and an increasingly toxic U.S. political climate suggest further risk reduction is likely. Uh, as a result, ISA noted that the safe haven yen will lead G10 currencies in gains against the U.S. dollar. The dollar on Thursday fell to 110.82 yen against the dollar, its lowest since early September, declining for a fifth straight session. Wow. It was down 1.4% at 111.13 yen. In a widely expected decision, the Bank of Japan on Thursday kept rates steady, maintaining its ultra loose monetary settings. The dollar also slid 0.8% against its rival to 96.263 after earlier dropping to 96.042, its lowest in a month, the index posted its largest daily percentage drop in six weeks, diminishing reparation flows have also dampened the dollar's outlook. They peaked at nearly $300 billion in the first quarter of 2018, but shrank more than two-thirds to $93 billion in September quarter, according to the latest U.S. data. Swedish crown shines. A rate hike by Sweden's Riksbank was not a consensus view in the uh, foreign exchange market, with a Reuters poll showing two-thirds of Analysis, I'm sorry, analysts expecting the Rakes Bank to keep rates unchanged. And okay, so, you know, look like Sweden is doing fine, but the US dollar is getting weak. It's getting a lot of weakness. And like I said before, they are anticipating a recession hitting the US. You know, 
and I would not be surprised. And it's going to impact uh, once again, everything in the economy, including jobs. See, I told you that trade war Trump was having was eventually going to impact everything. And it is, it's already impact jobs. And now they're saying that although they have stopped, you know, a little bit of a truce, it's going to kick back up again. And a recession is expected. A lot of people are waiting for it to happen. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about this article. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.